It has implications of, of measures that, that would help ultimately upgrade all of our standards. With the tourism master plan right now, we're talking about the next 20 years growth. And we're talking about doubling our room volume on the ground. We're talking about doubling the number of tourists we want here. We're talking about then for needing to double the number of rooms and services that go with those rooms. So the reality is they go hand in hand. You can't build the physical infrastructure. You can't build the volume without building the service and the capacity of the service providers on the ground. So really what it is, is a way to really heighten the accommodation level, to really optimize the level of service that we're providing, as well as really bring up the accommodations to a standard or a level of minimum standards, and from their tiered rankings in a higher accommodation form. There's two different very unique conditions that we have in accommodations throughout the country. Um, we definitely have the hotel, resort type accommodation, but we're also really in a unique position both in regionally and on the global scale where we have um, of our 700 hotels um, the highest percentage is under 10 rooms which implies local um, ownership which is local involvement and they're small so the the uh, the ability for them to be working on a certain um, standard of amenities compared to a hotel may not be the same however we market this as a wonderful product because we know that the authenticity of these smaller accommodations is what brings a lot of visitors to Belize mm -hmm. now the the credibility is that we have two types of standards we have tangible and we have intangible and the reality is the intangible is the service it's how you feel when you get there the ambience how people uh, greet you from you arrive till you leave and some of those aren't necessarily measured in physical components but we do have physical components for minimum standards for all accommodations that will eventually be set we'll start by taking stock of all of the hotels and all of the accommodations on a national level once we look at the stock taking we'll decide how we can set the different standards for the type of tier of accommodations we have throughout the country right. so we don't marginalize isolate or minimize any of the smaller local ownerships in fact we're strategically working on how we can market those in a tier level of their own so that we really promote that type of accommodation but not letting them get away there will still be a minimum standard like you said so how do we make sure that we're both on the same playing field for the bigger accommodations the smaller accommodations but that the tourist gets their value when they get to that accommodation.